Do not mess with your accountant. He will beat the living out of you. <laughs> What's up everybody, it's Davey Mack here. So I've been doing a lot of soul searching on YouTube and I've realized that there has been a lot of videos out there where a doctor is reacting to a certain movie scene. Even lawyers are doing reacting videos. A lot of people have been watching these videos. After a lot of thinking and after a lot of people not asking me to do this video, I've decided to do a accountant's react video. So today I'll be reacting to the movie, The Accountant by Ben Affleck or starring Ben Affleck. <laughs> do I don't have to say Ben Affleck? But between the property taxes and the fertilizer costs, insurance, the hell with it. What if just temporarily, mind you, we put this year's taxes on our credit card? <sighs> I hate being in the room when things like this happen where the tax is way, way too high for the business owner and they did not account for it. So please guys, Make sure before you even see your accountant, you kind of already know how much taxes you pay. And this is such an old school mentality where you have no clue how much profit you've made. You don't have no clue on how much tax you're gonna pay. And you come into the room with your accountant and you freak out about the taxes that you have to pay. So it's really important these days, especially the technology that we have, that you know how much money you're making, but also roughly how much tax you think you're gonna be paying by the end of the year. The accountant's job is, yes, to tell you how much tax you have to pay, but we also help to try to think about the different types of tax deductions for you. Accountants are supposed to tell you, you know, the things you can do on top of the stuff you're already doing. But if you have no clue about your numbers and no clue about the tax at all, then really you shouldn't be in business. You ever saw one? At church fairs now and again. So I assume we have what the IRS calls a home-based business. What room do you use in your house when you make those? I don't really, just wherever I happen to be, I guess. It would be better if you could try to remember the one specific space that you use. IRS code allows us to deduct from your taxable income a percentage of your workspace relative to your overall home. What? I Mr. Rice, how big is your dining room? Mrs. Rice's office. Aha! Uh -huh. This actually happens a lot with my clients. Especially in my business, we work with a lot of consultants, freelancers, and small business owners. So a lot of small business owners don't actually have a physical place of work they work from home and as a result even with the Australian taxation office you're allowed to claim some of your home office expenses if you're renting a home you can claim a portion of your rent there is a really detailed video on this and I'll link it below so you guys can follow that and this person here is a good accountant because he's trying to figure out ways for this individual to claim and lower down his taxes or her taxes it's uh uh, approximately 200 uh... well make it 300 square feet when you order supplies do you order online I drive the truck the company truck what is uh, doing is obviously not what normal accountants are supposed to do um, you know obviously he's trying to educate clients to you know fudge up the numbers I hope you don't find an accountant like that where you can just boost up your um, tax deductions by that. There's no way in the world where you can claim um, your kitchen as you know, your place of work and definitely look at a office space that you know, makes sense. How did you um, get into financial consulting? Department of Labor Statistics indicate it's one of the fastest growing professions. Okay. I like the balance of it. You know, I like finding things that aren't obvious. Okay, here's a really, really big example of different personality traits in accountants. You would have some certain accountants that are very quirky and intelligent, and then you have accountants that are bubbly and very big personalities and very good at managing clients. So once you ban all these young accountants together, what happens then is the lunchtime catch-ups are very, very awkward. I've been through this a lot, uh, but over time, I think over the years that you start working together and getting to know each other, all those barriers and all those personality traits like start meeting together and everyone starts, you know, becoming a family. That's what I feel. So if you're currently getting into accounting and you have this type of reaction or this type of um, culture, it gets better. It does. So don't worry too much about this and don't stress too much about that. Plus my dad was an accountant. You know, you have the whole shtick. The, uh, 
you know, the little amortization book and the green eye shade and the like dorky pocket protector and... I have a pocket protector. That's a nice one. I mean, his was dorky, that's... yours is nice. Oh man, that's a very awkward scene. So basically, I think Ben Affleck's character is uh, autistic. So in this situation, it's gonna be a bit socially awkward. But what happens a lot is that accountants don't tend to try to work on the social aspect of accounting. You need to work on your communication, your ability to work as a team. So if you don't focus on your social skills at work or your social skills outside of work, what tends to happen is that no one wants to work with you. So it's hard to move up the ladder if that happens. So what I did back in the day when I was a junior, I would go out there, network, speak to clients, colleagues, and other employees out there just to just get a good understanding of how to socialize. Accounting isn't just about, you know, doing the numbers, you know, getting the work out. It's about socializing and bettering your um, communication skills. So it's a really important factor to do and focus on that if you haven't been. So what Ben Affleck is currently doing is an audit on the financials and the numbers within the business. Normally this happens because there was some sort of fraud or there was numbers that don't make any sense. So the director hires a auditor to come in to look at the numbers to find out where they're losing money or find out where the discrepancy is. Um, it does also happen for reporting purposes. So you have to get a auditor to come in to audit your financials if you're a big business. Um, He's obviously a very smart guy because he's looking at the numbers without using a laptop. But one thing that doesn't happen is that the room is completely see-through and everyone can literally look at the numbers on the whiteboard. That doesn't happen at all. Auditing is confidential. You don't actually go and display all the numbers on the whiteboard as well as the room that you're working in will usually be enclosed and there's high security on those rooms because you don't want anyone coming in to try to tamper with the numbers or tamper with the documents. So this is definitely just a Hollywood scene and exaggerated to the point of doesn't even make any sense for accountants. <laughs> the accountant's life of working back late tends to happen a lot uh, in accounting, but it's not as bad as everyone seems. Like you don't work literally 60 hours a week every single week in a year. Especially for auditors, there are times where it gets busy seasons. And this is like a, a massive myth in the industry, which I really love, which is during end of financial year, which is around June, 30th of June, clients think that we're really busy. We have nothing on on 30th of June. And the reason being is because no one's gonna give us their books at 30 June. They're still working on their books and still getting all the numbers in place before the business sends us that information. And even if it's not a business and it's an individual that wants to lodge their taxes, most of them would not give us that information before 30 June. They'll give it to us after 30 June. And as a result, during 30 June, we're having parties every night at work. No, nah, not really, but we just don't do as much work. So they are generally the times where we take it easy, uh, go on leave or go overseas. But don't tell all your accountants that because that's kind of like a myth that we don't really tell our clients that we just pretend to be busy at that time so we can do what we need to do. <laughs> well, at least that's what I did. <laughs> I don't know why that guy's saying what the f Seriously, you don't go messing with accountants. Obviously, they're gonna kick your ass. Like, what do you think these guys are here for? These guys are all the trophies I've won in martial arts competition. So just take note. Do not mess with your accountant. He will beat the living f out of you. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I had a lot of fun doing these videos. This isn't something new for me, but I'm hoping that you guys enjoy it. So if you guys do enjoy this, like and subscribe, and also let me know what other types of scenes that we should be doing. It doesn't have to be accountant related. It could be any type of videos of regarding finance, 
regarding anything you want, just me reacting to it. So, leave a comment below and let me know what type of ideas you guys have.